How's it going everyone? It's Iron Phoenix. I wanted to show you guys real quick how to make a, um, a pretty nice little uh, uh, widget to put on your desktop that'll uh, show you the prices of different types of cryptocurrencies, whatever whatever you decide to, uh, to, uh, to put on it. As you can see here, I have six different ones that I'm uh, currently monitoring. Now, this is the widget that you can make. You can grab it and move it anywhere you want. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Okay, so the first, let me close this out first. That way I can kind of show you guys from the beginning. The first thing you need to do is you need to download um, Adobe Air and install it. After you uh, download it and install it, I already have it installed on my computer, so I'm not going to do it again. So download Adobe Air. And after you get done install it, then you're going to go to um, snippage.gibocorp.com and download Snippage. It'll be right here uh, on the uh, download button. Now this uh, program is uh, going to be named uh, snippage.air. And it currently has a um, an expired, um, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, Uh, security uh, it has expired security on it uh, and the only way that you can get this working is by setting your date to uh, your time on your uh, computer back now the uh, the security uh, certificate is uh, good until October 31st of 2017 which is this year so just go to your uh, your clock after you download the uh, the snippets dot air and click on the uh, change date and time and then uh, change date and time again and set your clock back to October 31st of this year and just hit OK and hit apply and then when you double click the uh, the snippets.air it will install for you and then you can put your time back to normal after you install it well once you install the snippets.air you're going to have an icon on your desktop that's called snippets and when it uh, when you install it, it's automatically going to have this little window up, and it's going to tell you right here to click me. Now, in order, but before we even get started doing this, the uh, the next step we're going to do is we're going to create a an HTML file on your desktop or wherever you decide you want to put it. I put it on my desktop, but you can put it anywhere on your computer. Name it whatever you want. Just uh, go to uh, new, create a new text document and just name it whatever you want uh, .ht, uh, .htm or html whichever you prefer and then uh, open the file up I'm gonna go ahead and open the file that I already have here and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this little widget now first of all I prefer using uh, the widgets from um, coinmarket.com uh, coinmarketcap.com sorry about that I'm having a problem here pronouncing that uh, you go to coinmarket.com and click on the tools up here and you can go to the desktop widgets and um, th this is what you're going to use in order to make the little widgets that we're talking about now you can have these widgets any way you want them uh, you can have whatever rank that the coin is uh, in your widget, and you can have the market cap and all that. But I take all that off. I take, I uncheck the first box. Oh, never mind. I leave that one. I uncheck the, the show rank one, the uh, market cap, and the uh, 24 hour one. So it's nice and clean here. Now you can add the um, uh, the the USD or the B, uh, BTC underneath it to where you uh, can see how much uh, how much it's worth in BTC. I don't currently have that on mine, but I may add them to it because it's nice to have that. Since uh, when you do a lot of uh, trading on the exchanges, it'll be um, it'll it'll be off of how much BTC is worth. So it's nice to know what that number is. Anyways, for now we're gonna leave it off. And once you get the widget the way you like it, you'll see the preview right here on the right. You take this code here, and you copy it, and then you're going to put it inside your HTML file. Now, um, I like to, I wanted to set it a specific width on the um, the widgets because if you put it inside of a, uh, the HTML document and you don't set a width, it will go the entire screen uh, width of the screen. 
so uh, I just created a little uh, div tag for CSS right here and I set it to 275 which ended up being perfect uh, amount of pixels on the width because each one of these um, each one of these uh, source codes is going to be inside of a div uh, inside of a div uh, tag so we, once you set one div tag it's going to make the, all of them the same width so just copy and paste each widget that you want inside of here you'll see that I have six different ones inside here you paste it in there and you go back to here and you choose whatever coin you want say you want to do uh, ethereum type in your ETH and pull up ethereum here and then if you want to keep your um, your widget the same or you can add whatever you want to each uh, to each thing and then just take it and copy that uh, copy that one and put it inside there and once you get all the ones that you want in your widget then you save the file which uh, mine is on my desktop so I'm gonna show you uh, so you what to do next you go up here to your um, after you save your file you go up here and click the click me button which is a little arrow at an angle here and it's gonna open up a little web browser now depending on where your file is will depend on where where you're gonna uh, what, what you're gonna put in your browser here now if I open up this file here I'm gonna double click it it'll give me the location of the file here and you'll see I already have my widgets in here. Copy and paste this uh, URL into here, and hit the enter button, and it's going to load up your uh, your widgets. And now these, uh, because they're already a widget from the website, they automatically update every 30 seconds or so. Uh, so you really don't need to uh, have your web the web browser itself update them, but you can if you'd like to. I always set my widget on my uh, web browser to go ahead and uh, update every 10 minutes just in case it gets stuck. Now you'll see right now we have this little white box and this is where the snippage comes in uh, comes into play. Grab the little left arrows over here and set it up wherever you want it on the left hand side of uh, the top widget. That looks about where I would like to have it right on the edge of each, each uh, t side of the circle, the top of the circle and the side of it and then grab this bottom one here and uh, adjust it to wherever you want I don't think I really need to powered by, by coin market the cap on the very bottom one since it's already on all the different ones anyways and I'm gonna pull this over and it seems like that looks pretty pretty good yeah I'm gonna leave it right there and then after you get the little snippage uh, box the way you like it you hit this little uh, button up here and it's going to uh, snip it and then there you go you got a little widget you got on your desktop that you can put it any which way you want now if you would like to um, if you would like to separate each one of these you could uh, uh, I think you can only have up to three widgets three of these snippets widgets up so if you um, if you decide you want to split it up or something you can only have three of them so make sure that uh, you, you make your choices uh, good on what you want to do because you uh, if I wanted I can I can make uh, six more in another snippage and six more in another but if I split them up and I just wanted three in each widget I could only do nine of them I don't know I don't know why there's a limit on how many of the uh, the, the snippage windows you can have open at one time but it seems to be only three that's that's all I could get open because what I originally wanted to do is I wanted to split each one of these up in its own little widget and I was going to just put them anywhere I wanted on the screen instead of straight up and down like they are even though it looks nicer the way it is now than when the, uh, the way I originally had it but if you do decide you want to split them up you're only going to be able to do three widgets you only be able to monitor three different coins if you uh, do singles so that's why I did it with six of them here and I could take this and I could put it anywhere on my screen. I normally keep it on my second screen, but I'm only uh, making a video for this screen, so I'm not going to move it over there. But anyway, that's pretty much it. That's all you got to do. You just need the Adobe Air. You need a snippage uh, dot air uh, file, and just make sure you put your uh, clock back to uh, October 31st of 2017. Double click the snippage dot air until it installs, and then put your clock back the way it is, and everything will work perfect. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helps you uh, in some way. If it does, like and share the video. Do whatever you wish, and uh, uh, happy mining.